Sunday, fun day has officially begun. Woke up, ate me a nice breakfast, watched a little bit of NFL football, and now here I am. Gonna be over there here in a second, having a nice date with the squat rack. Um, yeah, I only did 15 minutes today because I think. Um, I don't think I know. I'm going to do about a five to ten minute ab routine. Um, try to get about 400 total different types of crunches in. And then I think I'll be ready to squat. So let's get back there. myself a hoodie today and it's not even hang on let me make sure you guys can still hear me when I take my hat off yeah it's not even cold outside at all really but I don't know man I just want to like with each week that passes I'm getting more and more what's the right word here I don't know I guess the right word would be Look at that freaking dryer sheet in my sleeve. The right word would be not hyped. I don't know. I'm just getting more and more enthusiastic about it. So, and I know there's not like, I don't think there's really a lot of data that says the more you sweat, the more you're burning. But I do think there is some correlation. If you're sweating more, you're most likely working harder. So your body's obviously going to be burning, you know, a little bit more calories and stuff. So I'm going to throw this hoodie on. Now, how long the hoodie stays on, I don't know. It just depends how quickly I start sweating. But, but I also think I'm just going to do one. I think I'm just going to do one heavy set of squats here. And I might continue that kind of, that philosophy for the remainder of this cut because one heavy set on, you know, a calorie depleted diet and, and I'm doing intermittent fasting as well. That might be all I should really be doing and all I can handle considering all that. So I just think. I just think one heavy set, and like I said, I might do this each Sunday for the remainder of this cut. It might be another 10 weeks that I do this, um, and then everything after this is just going to be heavy reps, but, you know, higher rep ranges, so a little bit lighter weights I'm going to be working with, but uh, that's really all I have on my mind right now, so let's just start warming up. Oof. 
I'm going to do that again. Oh, that was a little better. Let's keep going up. Time for a bathroom break. <laughs> All right, man. I feel much better. Trust me. You don't want to... Really, you don't want to do any exercise. When your stomach's a little unsettled. But especially squats. I mean, that should go without saying. <laughs> All right, let me... Let me throw my knee wraps on. This will probably be the last warm-up. Before the first... Well, first and only set here. All right, I think I'm going to work with just 500 even today. I'm using a different bar, so instead of 55, it's only 45 pounds. So I'll throw, take the 25 off, throw another 45 on with a two and a half. We'll see what we can do with one, one set of 500. All right, I got to find the ideal song here if I'm gonna make this set the best I can. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, now I remember why I don't use that bar anymore. God. I'm sure you guys could tell it was wanting to roll down my back the whole time. <sighs> that sucks. If I didn't have to deal with that, I'm thinking seven or eight was definitely there. I was fighting so hard just to keep the bar from like actually completely rolling off my back. I used a lot of energy just doing that. And I knew, I knew as soon as that started happening, it was gonna make this set. Obviously not as good as it could, could be and take some reps from me, that sucks. You know what? I'm going to learn my lesson. A lot of times when something like that would happen, I would uh, let my emotions get the better of me and try to do another one. But again, I'm just going to stop there. Just going to stop there. And I will focus on reps. Even with that extra cheat day I threw in Saturday, I can feel this cut. Um, it's starting to affect me pretty good. It's just like, I just don't have the same energy, you know, like a lot of times going for just one set with a weight like that, I'd be able to hype myself up pretty good, attack it. And most of the time, you know, it's always usually a good set. I hit a PR, or I, I match one, something like that hasn't been happening in the past three or four weeks, really. And it's no surprise. I shouldn't be surprised. I should take it in stride. No, that's part of, it's just part of cutting, you know? So, yeah, let's just, let's move on and focus on reps here. Let's try to get a crazy pump. All right. I decided, just like I said, I said almost every day last week, I think. I switched a lot of things up. So I think I'm going to continue that today. I'm going to switch the order in which I do things. Um, you guys know at, normally after I do a squat, it's straight to the leg curls and then leg extensions. And then that's usually it on Sundays. But uh, no, man, we only I only did one set. So I think I'll try to do, I don't know, I might try to do three sets here. Just really push my quads. It's going to be the same thing like always. Feet close, up on my toes a little bit because my feet are going to be down. Knees traveling over the toes a little more than usual. So I'm going to try to blast my quads here and then do leg curls and leg extensions. So yeah, I think it's it's never a bad idea in my opinion to, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say never, but usually it's not to switch the order in which you do things like I've, I've said before so I'll, I'll shut up after this but sometimes that's really all you need for kind of plateauing to uh kind of stimulate growth again and strength gains just switch the order in which you do things that'll kind of throw your body for a loop you know and um if that doesn't work and then then you can take more drastic measures maybe changing your routine completely and whatever but um yeah so I got four plates on here. We'll do a set. If I can go up and wait, I will, but I'm not really worried about the weight as much today because I did my one big heavy set, even though that, that didn't really go like I wanted because the bar was rolling. It was still it was still good. I went back and watched it. The fifth rep, the fifth rep moved faster than the first four. So that tells me I definitely had more in, in the tank. It was just the bar was rolling and it was it was slowing me down. Honestly, and it was just, it was kind of messing with my head. So I know that wasn't a 100% effort set. I could have done, I think a couple more, but so it makes me feel a little bit better about it. But anyways, let me shut the fuck up. Let's do this first one.
Come on. I could definitely go heavier. I'm just, I'm just gonna stick with this weight. I think I did 13 or 14 reps there. I'll probably float around that rep range for two more sets, maybe lose a little bit. I think this is good weight. It helps to do the setup. I actually pull the safety guards back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. That kind of threw me out of my zone and everything. Damn it. Ah, all right. Oh, one more. All right, last set of hack squats. Let's try to make this a good one. Oh shit, my quads are on fire. <sighs> Alright, let's go, let's go do some leg curls. When I say my quads are still on fire for those hack squats, I mean it. Holy shit. This is gonna give me gonna give me a nice break for my quads. We'll thrash hamstrings for three good sets. Go back to thrashing quads and leg extensions. We'll see what the legs are looking like. That'll probably be it for today. Smack this baby out.
Okay. All right, we're doing quick rest here again. I want these to be quick, but still very good controlled sets. But I just want to get a crazy burn, make these really intense. So rest in about a minute, maybe just a little longer. I'm going straight into it. Going quick like this is going to take some reps off each set, most likely. But you got to be okay with that because just temporarily it's something different. I'm going quicker, which I normally don't do. And it's just a nice change, you know, challenging my muscles in a different way. But you got to be okay with losing reps. That's just kind of part of it, you know. But yeah, let's just do one more here. Holy crap. I think those hack squats took more out of my hamstrings than what I thought. What are the quads looking like? like extensions. <laughs> One more. <clears throat> Last fucking one. I'm gonna try to make this as good as I can make it. But honestly, 
my legs are pretty toast right now, so I'll do what I can, but I want to make it really fucking good. It's just the level of really good at this moment it might not be very high because my legs are, are fried. All right. Okay. Right, about like I said, I made that as good as I could. It's freaking pose. Uh. No, you know what? I didn't think the hoodie was gonna last this whole workout, but it actually did. I'm surprised, but I'm I'm glad because I got a good sweat, man. I am. It's actually gonna be hard to take this off, but I do want to take it off for the my little pose I'm gonna do here. Try to get this thing off. No, that is not a shadow cast on my shirt. That is sweat from here all the way up to my shoulders. It's drenched in sweat, man. Woo. Good fucking workout, dude. All right. Let's do some posing real quick. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. I don't like that. Yep. What else is there to do and to say? I think that's it for today. Time to go get my second meal of the day in. The nice protein shake. We're done, man. We got fucking done. Great leg day. Be back tomorrow for chest. But well, hopefully it's a great chest day. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. Let's just get out of here. Fuck. <laughs>